All right, welcome to the team call. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know me, my name's Ashley. I've been coaching for four and a half years. Um, and I started my business running free groups. And so I want to talk to you guys tonight about how I have ran my free groups in the past and how I'm tweaking them now to be a little bit more efficient for me, to make them a little bit more simple, actually a lot more simple, I think, in my opinion, um, with the new tools that are available on Facebook. So we're just going to dive right on in tonight. Um, so first of all, why do we do free groups? Um, free groups are something that is literally a staple of my business. Um, they add so much value. When you're adding value to people, people want to follow you. They want to be friends with you. They want to see what else you have to offer. And, um, you know, they help add people into your, your network of friends and people and your tribe and everything else. So um, it helps there. It helps build relationships and um, stronger relationships with people that, you know, are, you might have more of acquaintance with right now and um, that you end up becoming really good friends with um, through these free groups. You get to get a brand new set of friends through um, through these free groups, and you're going to build trust. I find that when I'm consistently running these, my success club and my challenge packs, all everything goes up because people trust me. They know that if I'm willing to help them free, what will I be willing to do if they actually do purchase something from me down the road? So, um. Yeah, we're just going to keep on going. So how and why is it important? First of all, we all know that Instagram is where everyone's at right now, right? And um, there's so many people who are building their business on Instagram, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But there's still a social media page called Facebook that a lot of your old friends are on, that people who've been following you for a while. Um, a lot of times Instagram is new friends, um, where your Facebook is, is your, your old friends. And so in order for you to maximize your Facebook and maximize what you're doing on Facebook, uh, free groups is really a good way to be able to market yourself and be able to kind of separate yourself from other MLMs and those other yuck companies where they're just adding you into these groups, adding these, you know, things you don't want to be in and continue blowing up your feed with just their products instead of really being themselves and being able to gear your business towards your tribe of people. And so, like I said, when I very, very, very first started, I was just told that I needed to run free groups. I had no idea what that meant. And if you're a brand new coach right now listening, you may know, have no idea what I'm talking about. But hopefully, by the end of the call, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and how to run an effective free group to be able to expand your network and build your business. And so, um, I think especially as a new coach, this is a perfect way to most people are very familiar with Facebook. They have been using it forever. Instagram, not that it's newer because it's you know been around for a long time, but this you can start with a free group and learn the business side of Instagram as you have a free group. Um, especially for those brand new coaches who you know are kind of overwhelmed with all the social media outlets. Um, it's also a great way to transition friends from your Facebook over to Instagram and also your Instagram friends over to your Facebook account. So we're going to talk about that tonight as well. Um, so the first things first is to have a marketing plan. And this is something that I have been pretty faithful about since the beginning of my business as well, is making sure I have some kind of plan. You know, we were all heard the quote, failing to plan is planning to fail. And um, if you have no plan, you know, you can't just go dig and think, okay, what am I going to do today? You know, what, what, what sounds good? Um, those months I have done that because life happens are my months that my success club numbers are lower. My income, in, you know, shows those, those as well. So um, we're going to talk briefly, briefly, briefly about a marketing plan because there's other calls you can listen to about a marketing plan. But um, when you create a free group or a free community, it should be based upon your monthly marketing plan. And so this is where I didn't put the two pieces together necessarily when I first started doing it. And, you know, as a new coach, you just jump in. You don't even have a marketing plan. You're just ready to go, which is perfectly fine. But this is where there's so much, like, I can't think of the word, benefit so good. Um, you know, 
aligning these goals together to create your niche market, to create your tribe of people, to create people who you want to be surrounded by and with. So for example, this is my current marketing plan for the month and I'll show you. Um, and I will post this in the tribe page so you guys can see it. So I literally took the tribe calendar, like literally took the tribe calendar that is posted right now in the tribe page. I hit file, make a copy, and I created my own. And I have added this week just kind of to help me. I've kind of done this not writing it down, but that way you guys can help see it. But I'm every week on Sunday, on just the Sunday slots, not only Sunday, but throughout the week, I write down what my focus is for the week, and um, what my invite is going to be for, primarily, because I'll still invite to other things, but primarily what my invites are going to, and what I'm going to be advertising or talking about throughout the week um, in, my, in my business. So this month, for me, is back to school mom. So this is my target market. I obviously... If you don't know me, I was a former first grade teacher. I taught for five years, first grade. And so the whole school thing, I absolutely love. I absolutely miss. I'm also a mom who likes to organize and have structure and everything else. So this is something that is in my target audience. Now, you may not have kids. You may not, you know, have anyone going. So back to school may not be your jam. Um, but find something that is your jam. So my personal theme is going to be back to school moms and you're going to see that my posts this last like week have been based upon back to school why my kids are personally back to school but now i want to aim towards those moms who have kids that are like my age i want to you know i want to involve those kind of people into my network and into my tribe so um as i go through and i look at the calendar i know like this monday is going to be like a 14 day you know, our Rise and Inspire 14 Day Free Bob group. So this week I'm gonna hit it hard with inviting to that, um, making sure that my main focus for the week is gonna be working on my free back to school group, which we're gonna like dive into in a minute. My invites are primarily gonna go to paid challenge group and the 14 day trial Bob group that I'm doing. So when I'm talking to people, I'm first gonna ask them if they wanna join a challenge group. When they say no, I'm gonna immediately follow up with the free bod group. So, you know, it, you have an immediate response to that rejection. Well, guess what? I have something completely free so you can just try it out, see if you like it, if you hate it, no big deal. You know, it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. We're still be friends. And um, so it gives me that, that outlet. So then I'm looking at like the next week for me. And um, the 14 day trial is gonna start right here. So now I have invited, I've maxed out my invite. So what's the next thing? my back to school group and my paid challenge group. I'm never gonna stop inviting to the paid challenge group. That's gonna be all month long. But I'm gonna start advertising, I'm gonna start talking, I'm gonna start inviting to my free group. That's gonna be my goal for this week um, going, you know, going forward. Um, my free group, my back to school free group is gonna start here. So I don't need to invite and advertise for that anymore this week but I am going to be doing a what is coaching group the following week. So what am I gonna talk about here more? This week's gonna be more the business side. I'm gonna invite people to the directly, or invite people directly to the what is coaching group. Um, you know, there's also that this same week is the coach op webinar. So maybe you don't have someone that likes the group, the layout. I'm the person that likes to read it, analyze, and think about it, where other types of personality like to just watch it. So I'm gonna meet both needs that week. I can still advertise about the coach op call this week in my group, but now I have something that those who are the pen and pencil and like to read and analyze, I have met those needs and I've also met the needs of those who want to just listen to a call one night and see if coaching is for them. And so this is what I've done to lay out the month. I know what's on sale. Obviously, Beach Bars is going to be like push. I'm going to talk about Beach Bars in the Rise and Inspire group. I'm going to talk about the Beach Bars in the 14-day free group. Even in my back-to-school group, because it's my life, I'll snap a picture of me eating the Beach Bar. And, and so, because that, that's who I am. And we're going to talk about that here as we go. But um, the reason why my free group this month is based on back-to-school is that's my marketing plan. That's who I'm targeting this month. And um, when you think about 
who you want to target. It should be your niche market. Who are you? If you could pick those five things about you, what would they be? And, um, you know, I talk about a lot about infertility and miscarriage. You know, that's another niche market that people that I can relate to. And, um, you know, my faith in God, that's, you know, something that's important to me. And I'm going to talk about it on Facebook because I don't need to reach everyone. I need to reach my tribe of people. And so realize that as you're going through and you're creating a free group, um, who really is your target audience and who do you want to be talking with and to. Um, so now I'm trying to find where my slides are. Where'd they go? <laughs> um, am I like, I don't know where they went. One second guys. I can just go here. Pull them up again. I don't know where they went. Um, that is so weird. Okay, moving right along. As soon as it loads, I'm just gonna make this big because I know how to work Canva. Um, let me get back up. Sorry, guys. Okay. So one of the first questions, especially as I talk to like my coaches, and I encourage them to just jump in and get a free group is like, what do I do? Like, where do I even start? And um, there are so many ideas out there, but the biggest one is, I love the quote, do what you love and love what you do, right? So maybe for you, the back to school thing is totally and completely boring. Maybe you're a sewer and you want to teach the basics of sewing. Like you want to like together create a pillowcase. I don't know. I don't know nothing about sewing, so I'm not good there. Okay. But what are things about you that you love? Like I love organization. So to put a schedule together for back to school is like, fun for me. Like that excites me because I can use it in my own family. I can use it. Like that's what gets me pumped. So find those things that you love and create something fun um, with it. And um, just a couple, you know, ideas here, total body fitness, clean eating, healthy crock pot eating, meal prepping, back to school, date your spouse, like the world, sewing basics, healthy recipes, home organization, family chores, love languages, a run, walk, or train for a marathon. There's so many options out there for you, but I'll tell you, if I create something and I will share it, if it's not you and it's not who you are, it's not going to find your niche market. It's not going to be successful for you because it's not you. It's not something you love. You're not going to put your energy behind it. They're not going to feel that energy because you're bored with it. So find those things that you absolutely love. Maybe it's to break hair. Like guys, I would love to have fine a group of how to do girls hair because that's what terrifies me about having a girl like ponytail is like what she's gonna have in a hat on like maybe you do like a you know how to do your hair every day group or whatever it is what is something that you absolutely love that you can teach someone else for free add value to them and you know find your niche market in the process and so um again just just make sure it's you and you're gearing it towards your tribe of people. Um, you know, some are, are gonna be health and fitness because that's a part of me, right? Like I don't wanna just do non-health and fitness groups because that's who I am. Health and fitness coach is part of my, who like defines me, right? Like that's part of who I am. So some months will be health and fitness groups and some months will be just fun, creative things that I like or I wanna work on with my own family. And so, just find those things you absolutely love and um, do groups to network and to draw a new crowd for you guys. So some people were asking like, how do you go about posting about it? How do you go about advertising? How do you go about running this to make it successful? And I can, I know some of you guys are on this call right now and you're like, I've tried the three groups and they have never worked. Okay. Well, tweak it, tweak what's not working for you and make it, you and make it work for you. And um, so I want to kind of go through what I'm doing. And I'm honestly, guys, I'm starting from scratch pretty much. I want you guys to understand that. 
Like I created today, because I know my back to school group is going to be starting on the 13th. I created today a new community, a fresh community where I can like just breathe and, you know, realize what, what I'm going to be doing. Okay. So realize like I'm right there with you guys. I'm creating this as I go as well. I'm taking what I knew, knew what I know or knew from what I've done in the past and tweaking it and creating just a fresh start for me because that's what's going to work for me. So I'm going to open, I'm actually going to open up my free group, which I, or community that I created today. And, um, there's like me and Breezy and my husband in it right now. Cause I literally had to add people to start the group. So those are the people I always just add when I get going here. Um, let me open this. So the first thing I think is super, super important is to have a pinned post. And that pinned post needs to reflect you and who you are. Um, so in my pinned post, I, you know, briefly explained that I was going through depression and anxiety. And I briefly explained that I, you know, decided that yo-yo dieting was enough and I needed to change from the inside out. I needed to get a healthy life, including my emotional, physical, spiritual, social health, you know, in check. So I literally like have a pin post um, here for you guys, or that, not for you guys, but I mean, you can look at it. But, um, and I just briefly explained kind of who I am, why I'm paying it forward, um, that it makes me happy to just be able to pay it forward and help other moms um, who are in my same shoes. And so, um, you know, have a pin post and whatever you post, Make sure you do. So like at the bottom of here, their little assignment is to drop a selfie and tell us a little bit about you, their story and why they're here today. Why did they decide to, to come into this community? So I did that myself. Even though I just explained kind of who I am, I went over just a little bit of basics and I put a little before and after so they could see that miserable, anxiety-filled girl to a girl who's happy and healthy, not just physically, but it is shining because I no longer am a victim of depression, but I can control it. Not that I don't need medicine sometimes, not that I don't have it 100% because I don't think it's ever 100% curable, but I can maintain it and keep it under control for me. Like other people have it way worse and I get that. Um, so realize that whatever you do, what did you do? Okay, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to post in my old community that they can transfer over if they, if they want. So, um, it was just, I was too inactive in it. And so I just wanted for me a fresh start because I haven't been faithful at it. And so, yeah. So in your group, um, make sure you have that pin post. Now I, I know some people had luck with events. When they did, I've never had luck with events. I, pre, I honestly think a lot of events are just dying on Facebook. I hardly see them anymore before I was getting events like crazy. Um, but that's something to play around with as well as you create it. If, if events is working for you, then do it. Um, but inside your free group or your free community, you need to make sure you're engaged, especially when you're running that free group during that time frame. So it's only one to two weeks, depending on how long you want your free group to be. Spend that time. This is why I put that, the focus on my marketing plan. The week I have this, I'm going to make sure that every day I'm engaged in this group. I'm responding to people's comments. I'm posting myself. I'm posting just my daily life. And that might be my workout. Like, obviously not right now. My workout's non-existent. But in general, if I'm working out, like, I will put, like, I fight depression through working out. Like that might be something that I put because that's my target target market. I may put something along the lines of, you know, I, I'm on bed rest, but I can have a beach bar, you know, and to, you know, for a healthy snack, you know, little things like that. Like it's okay to talk about beach body, but we're not going to talk about beach body every single day. That's not what it's for. People are going to see right, right through that. Right. Unless you're doing a particular health and fitness group. Um, yeah, so Breezy said, I have a, I have had success doing events in my community. Like if I start a new challenge to do an event in my community, then I know how to tag. So yeah, exactly. And like in the actual community, I'll create an event so people know it's coming up, but I'm not going to do a general Facebook event personally. Um, but do what works for you, right? Like everyone's different. 
Make sure in this group you're you. You're asking questions. You're helping people be engaged. You're not just putting like a daily quote up and be like, okay, cool. I did something in that group. You're actually engaging with these people. Um, you're going to post about your life. You're going to post about and let them know you're completely normal, that you struggle with organization too, that you have loads of laundry if that's you over here, that you have kids that are screaming because they don't want to do homework when they get home from school. You know, let them know that you live a normal life, that you're not perfect, that you are trying to help other moms, in my case, but I don't have all the answers. And so that's one of the things I'm going to go live very quickly in my back to school group is explain, like, I don't have all the answers. You guys may have a better fit for someone else in this group. I'm just saying what works for my particular kids. And so make sure that you're allowing other people to have an opportunity to speak up and they're comfortable with speaking up because you allow them to have a voice in the group and you're not the one running it. But it's a true community feeling that is happening inside this group. So, um, and this is, I think, the, the like key I honestly do is build relationships, form. That might be a foreign term to some of you guys. Form is just asking about their family, their occupational, their recreational, and then finally sending like a message to invite them to something. But really what it is is just talking as if you're a friend. So those people who are participating, make sure you're going through and you are reading their comments, you're posting, you're interacting with them. And so then you can private message them and say, oh my gosh, I love this idea that you do with this chore calendar. Like, tell me more about it. Okay, this is something where you can now have, you have common ground, you're both interested in a chore calendar, okay, or whatever you found, whatever common ground you found with this person. You can send a private message, talk completely non beach body. Um, it doesn't matter if you're your friend or not, right? Because they don't necessarily have to be your friend to be in the group. But as you build this relationship and as you're going back and forth about a chore calendar and my kids are out of control and they think they need paid, they're these millennial kids, think they need paid for everything, you can now joke and relate and you can click that add a friend button because you have now formed a relationship with that individual. So they can follow your, now, your, your health and fitness journey along the way as well on your regular Facebook page or on Instagram. Um, maybe you find them on Instagram and link them both up in both places. But um, make sure that you're building a relationship with those that are participating. I would say, this is going to sound really cruel, but don't waste your time on people who aren't participating. Because they're not going to, if you want to like, try in conversation, most likely they're never going to respond. Okay? So look at those people who are immediately going through and commenting. Those are the people that want to be there. Those are the people that are going to add value. Those are the people that are going to continue in your group. Those are the people who are continually join other groups and eventually be on your tribe, be on your team, be your, you know, your teammate right there with you building a business. Um, so again, you're a transition. That's why I was just saying transition those friends to followers on social media. After you've talked to them for a bit, don't just send one quick message and be like, oh, add a friend, because they're going to be like, oh, that's weird. Um, so make sure that you go through and you, you know, you're not adding people just to add them, but you're adding people who you want to be surrounded by, okay? Let's say there's this one lady who you think is completely weird, and you're like, okay, she's in the group, but like we would never be friends in real life. Maybe that's not the person you hit add a friend yet, you know, add a friend yet. Maybe you build a strong relationship and find that common ground first and then, you know, proceed with it. Um, in your group, okay, this, I love, 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 love the book Jab, Jab, Right Hook. Like, I built my business. That was one of the first personal development books that I ever read in my entire life. I'm hoping that was thunder outside. I'm home alone. <laughs> um, anyway, so... And it talks about how when you market and when you talk about things that you give them a little jab, you give them a little bit, a, a little bit of an idea of what, what you are and who you do, who, what you are and who you are and what you do. There you go. And, but you don't give them the like full puzzle and you just keep like giving them these little, little jabs of who you are. This is what I do. I'm not perfect. I meal plan, but I ate a cookie today. You know, you give them all these little things and then you hook up. 
that's when you do your call to action post. That's when you hook them with the next group. That's when you hook them with, you know, what would you do in this situation or whatever it might be. And then at the very end of the group, you need to end it strong. And I find that this is where a lot of coaches on my team, when I was talking to them, weren't like finishing out a group. They just ended it and was like, cool, two weeks is over. This is when you need to have a call to action about what your plans are. And this is where your marketing plan falls into action because you now know what you're doing the next month. I hate being home alone. Um, and so, um, so when you end your group, you can easily go through and say, okay, I have a um, crock pot, a free healthy eating crock pot with it being fall next month, we're starting, you know, kicking into fall. This is what I have for, like, in our community, we're going to talk, talk about, you know, healthy crock pot eating. I also, because I know health and fitness is important, I'm going to do a 14-day free group where we're going to talk about, um, we're, you know, we're going to show up and work out together virtually um, and stuff like that. So just, just those, those options, give them options. Maybe, maybe they're interested in a long-term health and fitness. Maybe they're not interested in fitness at all. Maybe they just want the value of your, you know, your back to school stuff and, and the things that you're providing them for now. Um, but if you stay consistent and that group super strong, um, that's where you're going to see a huge difference in your, in your business. Thanks, Breezy. I need you to be my neighbor again. <laughs> um, yes. So, a couple things. Where is, hold on, I want to show you. Oh, I did skip this one. Okay. So when you're inviting and when you're actually posting about your free group, people were asking like, like how do you do a classy call to action? Or, you know, when we talk about the jab, jab, right, right hook, it also applies to your advertising, right? Whether it's a free group, whether it's a paid group, whether whatever, whatever it is, um, you want to be able to, to do that. So I want to give you a couple of key tools here as well. Um, so I'm going to show you some of my back to school um, things here. That better be thunder and lightning, guys. That's all I can say. Um, so let me go into this. This is the only way I know how to do it. So I, want, I just want to show you a couple of the back to school posts that I've created. And I want you to look at the engagement tips. I think it's super important. So my son started first grade, right? Something super simple. Okay. And um, there's a hundred people who commented or, or not commented, but had some kind of reaction to it. And there's 28 comments through it. Now, some of them are me commenting. Some of my coaches commenting. Okay. But You'll notice one of the key things is, and I, this is what I'm finding as I have scrolled my own personal coaches, Facebook pages, is they'll write, but then they never, and people will comment, and then they never really respond except for they'll hit the love button or they'll hit the like button. Guys, you have to respond. The more comments that are listed, the more it's going to show up on people's news feeds. So make sure that you are commenting on every single person who comments on your stuff. That's where you're going to get traction on your posts. So I created a first grade back to school, right? This is just a little job. This isn't something that I didn't say, guess what? I'm in a free group and I'm posting this because my son, you know, no, it's just a little, here's my son starting school. Who else has kids starting? How am I going to deal with kids back in school? Um, but I'm just giving them a little taste of what, what it is. Um, and then just another one. I hope this is not the one I clicked on before. Um, so yeah, so I created for my own kids a back to school chart for both of my kids. My one kid started first grade, and my other little boy will be in preschool um, after Labor Day. So I created a little chart for him so he can get going. So it's just something I added to social media and you know showed like who wants a copy, right? So you go down and 103 comments later, 41 likes and everything else. And again, some of these are going to be me, but I went through and I gave everyone a link. You know, I did wait because I didn't want to post it to the first person that no one would respond. Right. So I waited a couple days. Actually, it was like a week because my husband had to use my computer. And so it was like a week later or whatever that I actually went back and, you know, commented and gave the direct link. 
but this is just another example of a jab post about my upcoming back to school group. So then I had one more little jab. A couple days later after my son started school, I allowed him, I don't know how I did this, but I allowed him to walk with his friends to school. I somehow let him go and they all meet at our house and they walk. So I post about on social media, like another reminder that I'm a mom, have kids going back to school. I have anxiety that I actually let my son walk to school three days into school by himself, have him cross the highway and everything else. Not, it's not well, it's Antelope Drive, but it's, it's a busy, busy street. Like they have crossing yards, but it's still scary. And so, you know, and I even posted when he got home from school, like, whew, like he made it, like he's home. So, you know, these are just my own personal Facebook posts that are here and people are responding, right? Like there's 37 comments here and there's 55 likes. People are saying like, Oh, Facebook's dead. I'm not getting a reaction. Yes, that might be true, but are you using Facebook efficiently? Because I'm still getting super high traction on a lot of my stuff um, on Facebook. So don't ditch Facebook. I, like so many coaches are just like, I'll do everything on Instagram. Don't ditch it. You need both. Okay. Um, so, uh oh, what did I do? Okay. So, here is my actual back to school call to action free group. Okay. So I posted yet, you know, yesterday I posted out my schedule. A lot of moms commented that they're like, I need all this help. I can get, please send me the you know, your schedule that you created. So here I am. I created, look at this 225 comments. Of course, some of those are me. Um, only 46 likes or whatever. Right. But that, I don't care about that personally. This is what I care about. These are people who are responding that want to be added. And so when I responded to people, I told them, like, tag your friends, tag another mom that you think it would be interested in joining us in the group. At this time, and still, I'm still creating the group. I'm still creating the content. That's why I'm not starting until the 13th, because I don't have it created yet. And so it gives me time to properly organize. I also, in this call to action, instead of just saying, drop an emoji if you want to be at it, what I did is I put come up below with something you want to work on this upcoming school year so I can get some ideas of what you want. So I know what these people want. A lot of them said homework. A lot of them said they don't, they don't know how to get their kids to do homework. So what are some, what, what's going to be one day is homework. A lot of people said easy, quick meals, easy, quick, healthy meals that I can make in the morning, you know, or meal plan, just easy, quick meal plan. So I can incorporate one whole day on just meal planning not even tied in, right? Like this is something I would have never thought, but because so many people said that they were interested in, you know, a meal plan or quick and easy meals, this is something I can incorporate a full day of, right? In, inside the group. And so as people were going through, you know, you can re like read some of like their comments as, you know, homework schedules. Um, and some people did just put, I would like, like to join, but if you go through like, their comments, they put what they want instead of drop your favorite emoji, figure out what they want. And then you can gear the group towards what their needs are and what you find exciting as well. And um, so, okay. And I kind of skipped around because I missed some posts, but I'm sorry. Um, Another thing to make sure that you're expanding your network in these groups is, first of all, you can talk about them in your Facebook niche market, right? Like you hopefully have already joined communities on Facebook that are in your niche market. Now, there's a bunch of them, like there's a mamahood group that I guarantee you probably 90% of you are on this group. And this, that's not one I'm going to go and talk about because that's, I'm going to get banned from that page by even trying to advertise something for, for that. However, I am in some first grade groups. And so I may post that picture. I word it a little bit differently. Like, Hey, I need help. We're back to school. I need some of your help. I just want to, you know, get all the help I can get. Does anyone want to join and, you know, create a group and share your best practices for getting kids out the door to school, getting them home, doing homework, all that kind of stuff. So I would take my free group and put it into a niche market without being advertising, right? Like saying, I need help. I know you guys are all first grade moms here. Like, you know, help me out. 
And that's why you join communities too. And so, you know, and maybe you, they don't join people come like, Oh, that's an amazing idea or like whatever it is. And you start, you know, talking back and forth again, clicking that, that like button. Um, I like to do in my free group, one to two preseason days. Um, but one of them is a call to action. And sometimes I like to even give like a $5 Amazon gift card if they do it or some kind of prize, but something super, super simple. Like this is my, this is just one example of like a post that I would create on one of the preseason days. Um, and just having them explain that they're going to be in this free community, learning how to better be you. So maybe, you know, how to better make, or how to make a school year run smooth and um, something like that. So I give them an example of how to write it out. I don't know why I just hit. Um, but your post can say something like this. I am in a free virtual group on Facebook learning how to be better organized for the upcoming school year. I am allowed to invite my friends to join in. I think it'd be fun if you guys join me. Comment below with your favorite emoji if you want in. Now that one is okay for them to put their favorite emoji, right? Like you just, and then I say, make sure you tag me in it so I can add them, right? So then I see who's commenting. I can say, hey, like send me a friend request so I can get you added into the group. Super easy to, to, to be able to that. So make sure you have that marketing tool that your people in your community are reposting for you. That they're reposting, tagging you in a post and say, hey, I'm in a back to school group because I need all the help I can get with my crazy kids. Who wants to join me? Okay. Super easy way to be able to do that as well. Um, and then the last thing, just real fast, I wanted to touch on like this free group process is the beginning stages of the vital process. If you don't know what the vital process is, it's, it's getting clients started, getting them results, transition, transitioning them to a coach and to then to eventually develop a mentor. Well, how do you get clients started? That's always the question. Like, well, how do I even find a client, right? By networking, by creating free material, free value to be able to expand your personal network. So here's what I'm doing in this process to be able to do it. Um, you're going to add to your, your, you know, add people to your networking community who want to be there, who want to do things that are just like you. You know, you wouldn't just go around your neighborhood, knock on doors and ask every single person if they want to do this, right? You would find people your age who have kids who are like you and those are people you would be inviting into the group. So if you're doing it back to school, who else is going to be joining when they do that call to action post on their own Facebook page? It's not going to be, you know, the dad down the street. It's going to be the mom who also has those crazy children who also don't want to do their homework, who also have no schedule, who also, you know, are in your niche market. So um, make sure that you're running these every month. Um, the next step would be to transition them over to the 14-day BOD group, right? Like that's the next step for them is explaining like, hey, like I'm here to help you. I love health and fitness. I have a free group, 100% free. You can try out, you know, different programs, work out from home, whatever it is. So that's like step number two. So free group, down to that 14-day group, down to the paid challenge groups. Then you can start your vital process of getting your clients started, getting them results, transition them to coach, and then develop and mentor your coaches. So I'm just adding these three things before I can start getting them into the actual vital process is getting them into your, your free groups. And um, one thing I want to mention too. So, um, just so you guys are aware of that, like 5,000 windows open. <laughs> um, so unit, I am making this a social learning community. The reason for that, is the materials always going to be there, right? Like every September, guess what? You can run the group because it's created. Like every single August or whatever September you want to do. If you want to run a different one in August, you can totally do that next year if you are bored with that group or don't want to do that group again. But it gives you the option, if you have a super busy month, guess what? I can run the same group, it's there. So the minute I post it, I can create a unit. So I'll create a back to school unit 
I'll create a crock pot unit. I'll create a life the world unit in December. I'll create a Thanksgiving, you know, a month of a month, a month of thanks in November. Like these will be there so that people in this group, if they want to go back to something about the crock pot, they are craving crock pot meals and they don't know where to start. They can go back and look at anything that I've posted that pertains to that. Look at the comments, look at the things that are going on under that particular day's post. So this is where in my community where it was different, I'm transitioning it over to a social learning page and um, the material will just always be there for your people to be able to access at all times. And it's just easier for you where you can go through and really recreate the exact same thing year after year after year. So really if you had 12 solid months of free groups, you really could month after month do that after you establish your 12 month um, of free groups, but you can change it up too. You're not limited to like to that. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then just ending on this, I am reading How to Be Like Walt, which I highly recommend. It's been one of my favorite PD books in a long time that I've been reading. But dream big dreams and pursue those dreams with courage, optimism, and perseverance. Commit yourself to making the world a better place. Like that's exactly what we do, guys. Like we rise and inspire. Like this should make you happy. Like the free group should make you happy. It should be something that you enjoy doing, that you want to be doing. Maybe you're trying to impress them in your own life um, that, you know, your own family. Maybe you're struggling with your kids' love languages and you're trying to understand. Make a group so that you can learn the process and to be a better mom. You tag in personal development as you read about love languages and it just, it, it's the ripple effect, right? It just ripples down into your, your business. So maybe you do find something that you and, you know, your family's struggling with at the moment because you know what? If you're struggling with it, other families are struggling with it too. Other women are struggling with that particular thing too. You're never, never alone. We're human beings and there's something that we can all connect with no matter your age, your size, your ethnicity. We're humans. There's something that I can connect with with every single human out there because I am human. And so find those people. Do what makes you happy. And these groups shouldn't be a burden but should be something that excites you, hopefully, if you're doing them right. So, any questions for me? Okay. I will post these slides for those of you guys who want the slides. Um, and then, uh, obviously, the re recording will be posted. And I'll also post my marketing plan so that you, in the tri page, so that you guys can see kind of my layout. You can use the exact same layout if you want um, and kind of go from there. So, no problem. Thanks for hopping on, guys. I know it's summer. I know it's hard to get on with everything going on, but I hope you ladies have a wonderful night.